Thanks, Katie and Andrew. There were multiple tweets and messages posted expressing their condolences for the Minnesota football team and Coach Kill. This conference will definitely not be the same without him, but speaking of the Big Ten. For sports like volleyball and football, their Big Ten journeys are barely over. But for the Iowa men's and women's cross country teams, their Big Ten championships are right around the corner. Our weekend preview crew has the details on that later, but Hannah caught up with the team's captains. That's right, Jordan and I did, and each sports team in general relies heavily on their captains, and the same goes for the Iowa cross country teams. Ben Anderson and Tess Wilberding, both juniors, have stepped into the role for the season. And even though the teams are separate, working together and formulating the same goals are what make both teams so successful and are why each of these runners consider themselves to be so honored to be leaders of their group. I'm honored to be a captain on the team, but uh, honestly, like I feel like our whole team is really good about leading each other and taking from each other. And we have such good team chemistry that I don't think it's like too much of just me. I think everyone does such a good job of like leading each other and helping that I don't feel like everything's on me, but I'm really honored because it's such an awesome group of girls. I really would love us to finish in the top half of the Big Ten this year at the Big Ten meet and uh, better our place in terms of uh, regionals from where we finished last year. I think I think last year we, uh, we had our ups and downs, and this year we're definitely having our ups and downs, but I think it's all going to come together, and I'm very excited for the championship part of our season. We try to kind of unite the guys and the girls because, you know, when one part has success, then we feel it on the other half. And I think that's what happened in our last meet. The guys did so well that, I mean, we were so excited to perform after that. And I think that had a lot to do with, like, our performance. And to think both those captains both still have a year left leading those teams says even more about those two. Exactly, Jordan. But as one season might be ending for some, there are others that are just beginning. The Iowa wrestling team has only 17 days until the grapple on the gridiron in Kinnick Stadium. And Laura Belanda gives us a little preview on what to expect this season. He's a three-time Big Ten Coach of the Year, and he just signed a three-year extension through the 2019-2020 season. Head coach of the University of Iowa's nationally renowned wrestling team is Tom Brands, and he takes this team very seriously and says Iowa wrestling is a privilege to be a part of. This traditionally successful team leads the nation in attendance and is looking to break the national dual attendance record versus Oklahoma State in a duel that's come to be known as Grapple on the Gridiron. It'll take place in Kinnick Stadium, and they've already sold 30,000 tickets. Some recognizable talent returning to this Iowa team is Corey Clark, a 133-pound junior who placed second at the NCAA championship. He earned the Mike Howard Most Valuable Wrestler Award and reached third in the nation. Brandon Sorensen sits at either 149 or 157 pounds currently on the roster. He's a sophomore and placed fourth in the NCAA championship last year and second in the Big Ten Championship. And Sammy Brooks in his junior season is wrestling at 184 pounds. He placed third in the Big Ten Tournament last year and ranked seventh in the nation. Nathan Birak, a 197 pound senior, was seventh in the NCAA Tournament last season and was fourth at the Big Ten Championship. These Iowa wrestlers are hungry for even more success this season and are ready to fill Kinnick and Carver this winter. Laura Belanda, Daily Iowan TV Sports. Daily Iowan TV will get more of an inside look at Iowa wrestling next week at Media Day. For more of a look into the future, our weekend sports preview crew is back with exactly where Iowa athletics will be over the weekend. Take it away, guys. Thanks, guys. The Iowa volleyball team has two home games this weekend right here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. The action begins at 7 o'clock on Friday night where the Hawkeyes will take on Maryland. And at 7.30, on Saturday where the Hawkeyes will face off against Rutgers. The volleyball team is 10 and 13 overall this season and 0 and 10 in conference play. The Hawkeyes had a rough go around this weekend where they fell to number 9 Minnesota and number 16 Wisconsin. This weekend is very crucial for the Hawkeyes as they try to get a couple wins of conference play under their belt. That's all I have here at Carver Hawkeye. Let's send it to Mark Fry with a, an update on cross country. Thanks, Ashlyn. The Iowa cross country team heads to Evanston, Illinois on Sunday, where they'll compete in the Big Ten Championships. They'll compete for the first time in two weeks, but they will look to build on some very solid performances from that meet. For the men's side, Michael Melcher finished third on October 16th and will look to build on that performance in the Big Tens. 
On the women's side, Madison Waymeyer has finished as the top Hawkeye all season long, and she will look for her fifth consecutive top performance for the Hawkeyes on Sunday. The Hawkeyes will compete in the Big Ten Championship in Evanston, Illinois, starting at 1045 a.m. on Sunday. We'll send it over to Holly Reimer, who has an update on field hockey. Thanks, Mark. The University of Iowa field hockey team is looking to bounce back from their back and forth battle against Penn State this past weekend. The Nittany Lions took the win with no time left in the clock, but the Hawks are ready to focus up for their last game of the regular season. Iowa forward Stephanie Norlander was named Big Ten's leading goal scorer and just scored her 15th goal of the season. The Hawkeyes hope to see her success continue in leading the team in their last game of the regular season against Maryland this Saturday, October 31st, right here at Grant Field. Now one sport not mentioned today was Iowa football, and they'll be back in Kinnick Stadium on Saturday against Maryland. The Terrapins bring an 0-3 record in the Big Ten to Iowa City, but our pregame show on Thursday will get more in-depth about Iowa and Maryland's matchup. Andrew and Katie, back to you.